Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Microbiology Easy Notes. If you like this channel, please like, subscribe, comment and share. Today's topic, plasmid structure and its applications. Any plasmid have these important components. The first is oricyte or origin of replication site, antibiotic resistance gene site, promoter site, polylinker or multiple cloning site and primer binding site. Let's discuss all these components one by one. First important component is origin of replication, which is also known as site of origin or site of replication. This is the place from where process of replication begins. Site of origin is rich in adenine and thymine base pairs. Therefore, separation of strands become easy during replication. And why is it so? Adenine and thymine base pairs are held together with two hydrogen bonds and guanine and cytosine base pairs are held together with three hydrogen bonds. Due to this arrangement, stretches of DNA that are rich in adenine and thymine base pairs can be separated more quickly at lower temperature and allows the replication machinery to come and make more plasmid copies. Cell replication machinery recognizes plasmid oricyte sequence and starts replication of plasmid along with host cell DNA. That is how presence of oricyte make it possible for plasmid to replicate independently. As plasmid size is very small, it may contain one or few oricytes, while host cell DNA may have many sites of origin. To regulate replication, this site also contains regulatory elements such as RAP proteins. Researchers can modify this site to optimize replication and to control copy number of plasmid. Polylinker site. It is the second most important component of plasmid and also known as multiple cloning site. It is a short sequence of DNA which is composed of several cleave sites. Cleave site is a place where restriction enzyme create a cut and allow foreign DNA to insert during cloning and other genetic engineering processes. Antibiotic resistance gene. This is another important component of plasmid. This gene sequence produces certain proteins that provide drug resistance against one or more antibiotics to the bacteria. Plasmid can also transfer antibiotic resistance gene from one bacterial cell to another bacterial cell. Due to this property, antibiotic resistance among bacteria spread quickly and treatment of certain bacterial diseases become difficult. Promoter site, it is 100 to 100 base pair long sequence and it is present upstream of gene of interest. Promoter site is the place where transcription machinery is loaded and process of transcription begins. RNA polymerase binds at promoter site and starts copying the DNA gene sequence into mRNA. Primer binding site. This is a specific site on plasmid where primer binds. What is primer? Primer is a short single standard sequence of DNA mainly used for the purpose of DNA amplification and DNA sequencing. This diagram shows how with the help of primers DNA can be amplified. First primer bind at the primer binding site, then after one step of amplification technique, we get two strands of DNA from the one parent DNA. Now functions and applications of plasmid. First is antibiotic resistance. Resistance plasmid gives a capability to bacteria to resist antibiotics. Our plasmid carries specific resistance genes that can be transferred between bacterial cells. This capability of plasmid spread antibiotic resistance within bacterial population. Environmental applications. Some bacteria have degradative plasmid. This plasmid enable bacteria to digest pollutants. Thus, degradative plasmid help in decontamination of environment. Plasmid also helps in certain metabolic processes such as nitrogen fixations. In medical field, plasmids are used to introduce therapeutic genes into human body to combat various diseases. Plasmid can be employed as a vehicle for delivering specific drugs to targeted cells in the body. Plasmids can be used to produce essential human proteins such as insulin and growth hormones in mammalian cells. Plasmids can also produce such proteins that can be harmful to other bacterial cells. 
in the field of genetic engineering. Plasmids serve as the vector in genetic engineering, facilitating the transfer of genes between organisms. Plasmids are agents of horizontal gene transfer. This allows bacteria to exchange the genetic material between other bacterial cells. This creates genetic diversity among bacterial populations.